when you think about the scale, if you've read all of the reports to date, the, the scale from all of them is kind of, um, it's, it's, they're congruent with one another between 200 and 300 billion a year. It's hard to quantify. Uh, but that amounts over a 10 year period to two or three trillion dollars worth of true intellectual property from, uh, uh, one would argue that the U.S.'s greatest asset is our intellectual property Great. and our kind of supremacy in education. And uh, how, how do we stop that? Well, I would say that's a huge challenge because if you've become accustomed to letting this happen, mm. and if a lot of it happens actually aided and abetted by American companies in the sense that an American company or a European company that wants to operate in China, mm. they want access to the market. Mm. China has the biggest market. And so the Chinese extract uh, even in this uh, you know, requirement to require technology to build plants. So then if I then have a big enough investment there, when they're stealing intellectual property from me, I come and complain to the U.S. government. This is horrible, terrible, terrible. But when it comes to a meeting with the, uh, the leadership of China, I'm very polite because I know these are tough guys and they will punish me if I'm too vocal in public. So I think they've had a pretty good strategy for doing what they're doing. And as you say, they can have a government that has a plan. So think of the Chinese government as the first approximation. You would think of Google or of uh, Amazon or of Apple. Mm. So they have a chief executive. I mean, it's called the chief of everything. Right. They have a plan the way a company would have a plan. They allocate resources with respect to the plan. They try to manage and control this. Mm. Now, we all know that when the Soviets Soviet Union did a version of this and tried to have a command and control economy, it didn't work. So we all know market economies work better. Mm -hmm. uh, that's what we believe. But they believe they can manage their economy in this way and can take advantage of things that we can't take advantage of.